I'm Scott L. Miller. This is the 6th of February, 2022. This is the Sheep Guarding Llama Vlog, and I'm recording in Leon, Nicaragua. Welcome to the show. And it is Sunday. Today is bright and warm. I don't know how well you can even see me. It's so bright out here. And I've got the polarizing filter on, and I'm, I can't even see my screen because it's just a lot of sunlight going on. Uh, but today is a nice, relaxing day for us at the house in Leon. Uh, we had breakfast at the at the house, walked the dogs, and really are just hanging out. We have no plans today. We went out last night in the city and uh, doing a little bit of exploring today, just walking around. Uh, this morning I did a little bit of uh, photography with my Olympus pen, which I always think is just so much fun to use and I keep up here at the house and I... Uh, I'm playing with a new lens that I've I've had for a while, but it's really cheap. It's it's called a, a body cap lens. It's a fixed aperture, has no features whatsoever. It's manual focus. It's F8 only. Pretty much, you just set it and forget it, and just it just take pictures. It's really meant for street photography. Uh, but I wanted to experiment with that a bit, and I love how the pictures are turning out from it. Uh, Liesel is doing uh, her first photo walk in quite some time, and her first one with the Olympus, uh, and checking out that lens herself today. So that's a fun thing that we're doing. Uh, and we're going around our neighborhood here in La Borio uh, and some streets that we haven't walked before. There's some beautiful and interesting homes down here and businesses. I really like, there's always cool stuff to discover as you walk around these neighborhoods. I, I love the, uh, the, the design and styles that you find just mixed in everywhere. It's really, really cool. Uh, Oh, we have a cat down here. That's what's being photographed. Let's see if I can find the cat in the picture. <laughs> So uh, today we decided was time to start introducing our cat Minerva uh, to the house. And so uh, we actually locked the dogs up in um, one of the bedrooms and let the cat roam around the house for a while, which went surprisingly well. Uh, of course, she liked having a house to explore. We're gonna wait for the uh, camera to adjust to the new light here. And uh, uh, she was a lot less nervous than I thought she was going to be. She actually, I need to figure out where there's light in my face. There we go. And um, she handled the whole thing really, really well uh, and explored a lot of the house, even went into the kitchen and all around the living room and um, the courtyard and explored the outdoor spaces and all kinds of stuff. Uh, so that was really good. We're hoping that this means she's going to be comfortable in the house and it seems likely that she's going to be. So you know, now the next piece is going to be making her comfortable with the dogs and convincing her that she doesn't want to leave the house. We don't think she's gonna want to leave too much, but when she's introduced to the dogs, that's gonna be an opportunity uh, for that to happen. So, a lot of pieces we gotta figure out there. We do live on a very busy street and that is problematic because if the dogs or the cat were to suddenly leave, they would be immediately onto a busy street and we don't want that to happen. It's really, really dangerous. On a day like today, there's not very much traffic, but most days it's pretty heavy. So we have to figure that out yet, but we're pretty sure the cat is mostly a homebody. Uh, we're, if she, as long as she stays in the house, I think it's gonna be really good for her uh, and, and she's gonna be pretty happy and we're gonna be pretty happy having her loose around the house. That I believe, so this is not ice cream, but it's, a, it's an ice cream replacement that's popular here in the country. Um, I'm hoping you can hear it a little bit, but not too much. What they do is shaved ice and sweetened condensed milk as the sweetener to it. Uh, and then they add what's basically jam. And they come around on these carts mostly. You can get this in restaurants or like people do it out of their homes. But so it's like a lot of shaved ice and then a lot of really sweet condensed milk. Uh, and then quite a bit of jam, like a pineapple jam or a guayaba jam. And they put that on top and you just take like a fork or a spoon and you just mash it all around so you get this mixture of the sugary, milky kind of stuff with the ice, which kind of forms an ice cream sort of uh, texture. And then it's really sweet preserves, like a jam or a jelly. Uh, I like it with pineapple. I think that works really well. If you get like the tamarind, then it's it just, it doesn't cut it. Uh, you get like a pineapple, like that thick, red, super sweet pineapple jam, and you mix it through, and it's almost like a pineapple 
pineapple swirl going through ice cream in a way. Uh, it's it's actually kind of good. I'm um, not ice cream, but <laughs> if you want ice cream, it does not cut it. Uh, but on a hot day, it can be refreshing and nice, and uh, it's an interesting thing. I have no idea how large the region is uh, that eats that, but it is it is a thing here, um, and it's pretty cool. And they definitely do it on the beach quite a bit. I know in San Juan del Sur is the first place that I ever had it, and. Um, uh, they do it on the street here, so it's it's most of the country, I think, does it. Maybe lots of the neighboring countries as well. Lisa and I had a very successful photo walk. She took more than 200 pictures uh, throughout the afternoon as we walked all over the neighborhood of Guadalupe in the southeast of the city. We discovered all kinds of cool stuff like a water park. While walking, we discovered a water park and the biggest discotheque I've seen in a long time. Look at the scale of this place. This is crazy. It's huge. It's called Big Mama Discotheque and Riverside Splash Aquatic Park. I knew some stuff like this existed in Leon, but this is nuts. This is a really quick walk from our house. I had no idea this is here. This is weird, weird. And it says like, Big Mama Karaoke. Now on the sign on this side, it says uh, the aquatic park uh, up here, but on the other side, it says Big Mama Karaoke. And look at the entrance, look at the size of this entrance to this place. This is nuts, and this huge parking lot. They can hold hundreds of people in here. Really interesting, and I'm in a part of the city that I never imagined something like this would exist in. And uh, neat parks, sorry for all the noise, I can't get away from it today, and um, it just uh, cool neighborhoods and beautiful houses and all kinds of things. We actually had a really nice time, really nice time doing the photo walk, got a lot of exercise, did over 10,000 steps, uh, definitely walked a few miles. It was all very, very nice and uh, she's really getting good um, at photography in general and street photography is a new thing for her that's really cool that she's doing. I definitely did not do street photography at her age. I did do photojournalism a little bit when I was 13, so there's a little little crossover there. I can identify a little bit, but this is street photography, something that was new to me in the last year or so. Uh, so this is all new for her, but very cool. Um, and I think she has a knack for it and she seems to really enjoy it. So we had a lot of fun doing that today. Uh, when we got back, we had a little bit of time at the house to relax, uh, and I spent several hours just trying to upload her pictures because I got to move them from the camera to the phone, then from the phone to Flickr. It's actually quite a bit of work, um, even though it's all digitally, you know, it's all done wirelessly and all this stuff. It, they're so big and so many of them because they're huge, high quality, 16 megapixel, I'm sorry, 16, um, uh, yeah, 16 megapixel, I know what I'm saying, uh, files that we have to move. Um, so they're actually quite large, even though they're JPEGs. Uh, so that it takes some time and the internet here in Leon is pretty slow. Uh, so while it's functional, uploading things does take a while. So that was a big part of the afternoon, getting those uploaded um, and getting to check those out. But she got some that I really love. I, my favorite one is this mural looking through a fence that she took. It's absolutely awesome. The colors are perfect. I really like how the camera performed for her. Uh, certainly doing the, the fixed uh, aperture with the um, infinity focus just at F8 is really good for her. She's able to just compose and take the pictures and think about that stuff and not have to think about the mechanics of the camera a lot. It's really working well. So it's very cool uh, that we have that and are trying it out. So we're, we're enjoying that and I think it's really good for her. Uh, it's a really cool bit of expression that she's able to do. We had a lot of fun. This evening we had a business meeting at Duomo, which is a smokehouse not too far from here, just uh, three blocks that way. I've never been up there, it was really nice. We had a nice time, the meeting went well, uh, and it was a cool venue that we got to check out. Uh, Paul has been there several times because it's a smokehouse, but I never go because they basically don't serve anything for vegetarians. Uh, so it was nice to get to check it out, just have some cocktails and chill. After that we came back and Liesl and I watched World War Z, which we've been wanting to see for some time, I've seen it before, but but it's been many years, about nine years, and she's never seen it, but she likes zombie movies, she likes the video game World War Z, and we've been looking for it, and it's not been available anywhere, but it just showed up on Netflix like two days ago, uh, so we're very excited. We set that up and watched it tonight, and it is her favorite zombie movie. Uh, she doesn't find any of them scary in any way whatsoever, barely even suspenseful, uh, but this one she said she really liked it because they did logical things, like they thought about, you know, oh yes, you would count and determine how long it would take for someone to turn. Uh, you would chop off an arm if it got bitten, like things like that. 
she really appreciated the attention to detail and that the characters are not all just stupid idiots running around screaming trying to shoot things. Uh, they actually are being thoughtful and trying to save themselves. So that was, that was a lot of fun. We watched that. Um, and then that was our day. So thanks for joining me. I will see all of you tomorrow.